Yeah. Tom Coley, coach for Buckeye Cable System of the UDS man. Really privileged to be uh, with a great friend, a uh, great person I knew in uh, St. John's Jesuit, Steve Guinan, who co-wrote a movie script with Guy Stout, who we talked to just a little bit ago. And Steve, Guy let us in on a story. It, it, how you guys got to the movie script, The Perfect Season, about the Toledo Troopers and seven national championships, one loss in seven years, is a movie in itself. Two guys in the commons uh, eating cheeseburgers and fries and saying, hey, let's write, a, let's write a script. There are people all over the country that are sitting there saying, we're going to write a script. But how do you get from, okay, we're going to write a script, you start doing it, take us inside the process, and then get somebody to acknowledge that it's great? Well, it all starts with the story, you know, and this story of the troopers, you know, we we heard about it. I was lucky enough to meet Guy way back in the 80s, and it's always been there. Like, this is an incredible story. Right. Um, I've written about it in a number of different ways, and then recently we, we kind of um, endeavored to put it together into a story, into a, into a screenplay. Was it hard to do? I mean, you've got a, <coughs> you've got a great story. You want to tell it and give it, you know, I know both of you guys. You'd want to make it great because of the admiration you have for the ladies, the troopers, and their coaches. So was that hard? Was that pressure? Did you feel pressure on it? It was, um, frankly, to call, us, call me a script writer is maybe giving a little too much credit. What we did after researching their stories, it was, you know, they're incredible. And when people hear the story, when people, you know, the women's football team in the 70s, as Title IX is going on, they say, tell me more. I want to hear more. So as we researched and we met the players and met the coaches, um, it was simply put that there, tell their story here, put that there. Um, you know, the challenge was uh, what, you know, how, how to contain it into a short vehicle, which is, you know, a, a, scre a movie screenplay. But, you know, all of their stories really, um, you know, are those emotion, they're, they're full of emotion in, in the context of a sports film, you know, that kind of brings it out a little bit more. Uh, um, you know, so there's so many themes also uh, the characters, the themes, the storylines that, that um, really, I think, make people want to say, I want to see this movie. I want, I, want, I, want, I want to hear more. Tell me more. And that happens with everyone that we, uh, that we come across and we share with them, with them what we're doing. And it happened with Brett, who we said, here we have this story. Uh, Hollywood director have made you know, scores of films. He hears the story and says, I want to tell this story. I want to be a part of this. So it's, it's, it's inherent. It's in the DNA of the troopers and their story. It's uh, poetic, ironic that we're at Waite High School football stadium here, a Monkoff uh, field, one of the iconic high school stadiums in America. The troopers played here. Uh, Gloria Steinem went to Waite. So, you know, it is, any, any father who's raised, I talked about this earlier, any father that's raised daughters, uh, this story is going to be important to the daughter and to the father because as a father, you're always telling your daughter, you can do anything. You can be anything. Don't let people say mm -hmm. you can't do something because the can't people are out there on every corner. They'll right. tell you very rapidly what you can and can't do. And I think that's why a story like this is so important, Steve. Absolutely right. You know, the story opens, the film opens with Gloria Steinem in 1971 speaking to Congress. And her message is that, you know, it's time that we acknowledge that women can do anything and that women can do all these things that uh, previously we said they couldn't. And now here they are um, in this, you know, quintessential American kind of milieu of football. And, and they're doing it, and they're doing it really well. And they're winning championship after championship after championship when everyone else is saying you can't do that. It's, uh, did you feel <clears throat> the pressure and the responsibility to bring justice? Here you've got this great story. It's a true story. It's laid out in front of you. And did you feel, was it a palatable thing? We've got to do justice to this. That had to be a little bit of pressure. Well, it, it, just telling it as it happened is doing justice. You know, just researching, um, you know, every time we meet the troopers, we say, oh, that has to go in. That is an amazing line. What a great story. That has to, that has to go in. So it's just simply a, a matter of transcribing what they've done. Steve Guinan, uh, on uh, behalf of Buckeye Cable and BCSN, two young guys uh, sitting in the commons at high school at St. John's and in between cheeseburgers and fries and saying, hey, uh, let's write a movie script about this true story. And now 
on the verge of having a national movie called The Perfect Season. Right. Uh, your story and guys is inspiring as well to other young writers and people that want to make movies and do things that, uh, you know, you got to dream big and swing the bat. And you guys have done that. Thanks. Or score the touchdown, which you guys right, are doing right. that. Steve, thank you so much for being with us. All right. All right. Tom Cole, the coach for Buckeye Cable System and BCSN.